Hello dear students, welcome back to Bio Vidyalaya. This is your educator Chitra. I hope you all are doing very well. Today in this lecture video we are going to discuss about flippies, propies and scramblies. These are three important lipid transport protein present in the cell membrane. I took this topic from cell biology. So without further delay, let's get into today's class. Lipid transport is flippases, flopases and scramblases. These are lipid transport protein. Flippases, flopases and scramblases are lipid transport protein. That means lipid transport is that help the movement of phospholipid within the cell membrane. That means that change the position of phospholipid within the cell membrane. Okay. So, flippase, flopase and scramblase are lipid transport protein that aid the movement of phospholipid molecule within the cell membrane. That help the movement of phospholipid from one, mono, one monolayer to another monolayer. Okay. So, what is the need of transporting this lipid from one monolayer to another monolayer? So, let us see that. We all know that cell membranes are composed of bilayers of lipid. That means two layers of lipids. This is outer layer and this is inner layer. Okay. So, here you can see that the distribution the distribution of lipids in these two layers are not equal. Here uh, in this um, cytosolic side that means in the inner leaflet you can see that phosphatidyl serine, phosphatidyl inositol, phosphatidyl ethylonamine. These are more. But in outer membrane phosphatidyl choline, shingomyelin are more. So the distribution of lipids are not equal. Okay they are distributed asymmetrically okay so this asymmetrical distribution of lipids are very essential to help cellular functions such as cell to cell communication nutrient uptake etc any uh, disruption for this asymmetry that is an indicator for that is an indication for cell death okay so it is very essential to maintain uh, lipid asymmetry in these two monolayers. Okay. So, lipid transporters are maintaining this membrane asymmetry. So, what is the role of lipase, flopase and scramblase? To maintain membrane asymmetry. Okay. So, this lipid transport is helping in the movement of lipids from one monolayer to another monolayer in order to maintain asymmetry of the membrane. Okay. So, first let's learn about flip paces. Flip paces are coming under P type ATPase or ABC transporter family. Catalyze the movement of specific phospholipids from extracellular leaflet to cytosolic leaflet of the lipid bilayer in an ATP dependent manner. So, flippases are coming under P type ATPs or ABC transported family, and this lipid transport is helping in the movement of specific phospholipids such as amino phospholipids, phosphatidyl serine, phosphatidyl adenolamine from extracellular leaflet. Here you can see that this is extracellular leaflet. This is cytosolic leaflet. That means outer leaflet and inner leaflet. Okay. So, this um, flip is helping in the movement of lipids from outer leaflet to inner leaflet that will uh, helping in the movement of 
uh, amino phospholipids such as phosphatidylserine and phosphatidylethanolamide from outer leaflet to inner leaflet and that required ATP ok. Next is phlopases. Phlopases is coming under ABC transport protein family. Transport specific lipids such as phosphatidyl choline, sphingolipid from cytosolic leaflet to extracellular leaflet against the concentration gradient. So, uh, phlopases are coming under ABC transport protein family and it is helping in the transport of specific lipid such as phosphatidyl choline and sphingolipid from inner leaflet to outer leaflet that means from cytoplasmic leaflet to exoplasmic or extracellular leaflet against the concentration gradient that means that required ATP ok. Next is scramblase. Scramblase it moves phospholipid not specifically in either direction along the concentration gradient. So, scramblase is helping in the transport of uh, lipids from outer leaflet to inner leaflet and inner leaflet to outer leaflet also that is in non specific manner. It moves phospholipid not specifically in either direction that means in both the direction along the concentration gradient that means from higher concentration to lower concentration ok that is why it does not record ATP but it is activated by calcium. So, scramblase need calcium but it does not require ATP ok. So, let us see what are the main difference between flippase, flopase and scramblase. So, flippase need ATP, flopase need ATP but scramblase does not need ATP, it need calcium ok, scramblase need calcium. Flippase specific that means that will um, specific uh, that will move specific lipids from uh, one monolayer to another monolayer. Flopase also specific. Scramblase that is non specific. Flippase is moving uh, lipids from outer monolayer to inner monolayer, move outer to inner. Flopase move inner to outer, inner monolayer to outer. Scramblase both the direction that will helping in the movement of lipids in either direction, both the direction ok. I think this is clear for you. Do not be confused about flippase and flopase. You have to remember that flippase is helping in the movement of um, specific lipids from outer monolayer to inner monolayer. I will give one trick to remember this. Here in flippase I is there. So, here you can remember that I for inner. So, flippase is helping in the movement of specific lipid to inner leaflet ok or inner monolayer. Here flopase is helping in the movement of specific lipids from inner monolayer to outer monolayer here outer ok. So, here O is there in flopase O for outer. So, flopase is helping in the movement of specific lipid to outer monolayer or outer leaflet ok. I think this is helpful for you. So that's all about this video. 
try to do this much the following and comment your answer in the below comment section if you like this video and find it helpful then please click the like button share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe this channel keep learning thank you